Well, when Jesus was on, was in, on, on the cross at Calvary, when he said, it's finished, and into thy hands I command my spirit, the word says, and the earth shook. The earth was moved. Dead folk got up from the grave, put their grave clothes and tightened them up and walked on home. So when Jesus rode into the city, he didn't just ride it for Hosanna. He rode to let us know when I come, I'm coming and things are going to shake up. Earth's going to be moved. Dead folk going to get up from the grave. When Jesus rode into the city, it's just a precursor to the book of Revelation. In the last days, I'm going to Pour out my spirit among all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Men shall dream dreams and young men shall see vision. When the Lord rode into the city, he was getting us ready for the book of Revelation. The trumpet shall sound. The dead in Christ shall rise first. And we that are alive and remain shall be caught up. Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. I ain't got no clothes to put on the ground. Ain't got no trees to cut down and put on the ground. Don't just come on Palm Sunday. Come on Monday. Come on Tuesday. I need you on Wednesday. Every now and then. Thursday gets a little rough. And I need to cry, Hosanna. Come on and see me. Haven't you heard? He walks with you. Haven't you heard? He talked with you. Haven't you heard? He said, I'm the one that heals you. Haven't you heard? He's coming back. Haven't you heard? He's coming back. Haven't you heard? He's coming back for church. Not a building, but a church. Haven't you heard? I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Haven't you heard? This man is Jesus, the Son of God, horn of salvation, bread in troubled lands. Haven't you heard? He's my roof. He's my tower. He's my battle axe. Haven't you heard? Adonai. Yahweh, Jehovah, Jehovah Nisi, haven't you heard? He's Jehovah Rapha, haven't you heard? He is the Son of God, haven't you heard? He's your salvation, haven't you heard? Jesus, 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 the Lamb of God has showed up in the city. What you gonna do? What you gonna do that the king has arrived? Who, who is this? Got me feeling so good inside. Who is this? What I wanna give up makes me wanna run on anyhow. Who is this? Who shed his blood for your sin and my sin? Who is this? Who said I love you with an everlasting love? Who is this? Hung on Calvary for three and a half long hours. Brutalized. Taken from court to court. Who is this? The one who said prepare me a body. I'll go and sacrifice for the sin of the world. Who is this? Well, the psalmist said he was with a group of people and he heard somebody coming in the city and somebody said, who is the king of glory? And the crowd shouted out, he is the Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord, mighty in battle, lift up your hands. The everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in. Who is? Who is? Who is the king of glory? He is the Lord, 
strong and mighty. He is the Lord, mighty in battle. His name is Jesus. 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 Every knee shall bow. Every tongue will confess he is the king of glory. Who haven't haven't you heard that the Lord has changed your life? My life. Haven't haven't the folk in Emilyville heard? There's a new day in Bethel. Yeah. Yeah. Haven't, haven't the folk heard that the Lord shows up at on 20 Simmons Street on a regular basis? Not, 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 not just on Sunday morning, but the secretary will tell you, Mr. T will tell you, and David will tell you, brother, brother Jones will tell you. When you show up for work, the Lord will just blow your mind. When you allow the Lord to ride into your place, he don't care what you got. He's coming to do some work. Well, let me, let me, let me close with this. I was in a meeting the other day with Byron, Farmingdale University, walked in late, because Byron didn't know where the building was. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm not gonna tell the whole story, Byron. But he did go to McDonald's before he picked me up. <laughs> we sat there for about 25, 30 minutes. And then the man said, two gentlemen came in. Identify yourselves, who are you? And Byron said, I'm Byron Terrell, I'm with my pastor. And then everybody focused their attention in my direction. I set up like my mama taught me to. Squared my shoulders, put my Jesus swag on. I said, I'm Keith Hayward, the newly assigned pastor to Bethel in Copenhagen. And then somebody said, I heard about you. Well, you ought to walk the street and somebody look at you and know, I heard about your Jesus. You, you, you ought to be in a place in a supermarket with no cross on, no stick on your car, what would Jesus do? <laughs> if you really knew what Jesus would do, you would take that sticker off your car. <laughs> I don't wear no clergy shirt for a reason. If my clothes have to identify me, That means we'll be shopping every day. Who, haven't you heard that the Lord loves you with an everlasting love? Haven't you heard, don't waste your time waiting until you're old or you're ready to die to accept Jesus? Jesus.